talked to my doctor today. I also got my blood tested today to make sure that there's no more HCG in my blood. They want to start me on birth control. Um, so I think I had said in an earlier video that I was going to record my conversation with my doctor over the phone, and I did. So here it is. I'm doing okay. I'm doing a little bit better. Um, I started my period on Friday, so that's been really hard. <laughs> it's been a crazy period. Yeah, a lot of cramps and really heavy bleeding, so it's a little bit better today. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, just, I, I think it's just the hardest when you have a biochemical pregnancy. Yeah. You know, it's almost harder, I think, in some ways than having a negative pregnancy test because it just tends to drag out. Yeah, it's kind of um, like a tease. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and give it every chance, and then, but then we do know it's guarded, right? Right. So it's always that, and and we want it as much as you do, and it's just, and then if it doesn't work out, then it's obviously really heartbreaking. So, yeah. So I I I know that this is really hard. I I think it's a good sign that it implanted. Um, I just think that you know, as human beings, I always say this to my patients that. You know, not every embryo is perfect. So, right. So I think it's just the body figuring out what should be there and what should, you know? Right. Is there and something... In the additional testing, and we knew that chromosomally was normal, there's still other factors that go into it. Um, so I think that that's a big part of it. Um, and so I, I think that we should give you a break. Um, let everything go back to normal, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so do you, do you think, like, let this cycle and then kind of rest for a cycle and then do the next one? I or? Would. Okay. But I would just, especially because this was just so emotionally draining, too. Right. You, have to, you know, I, um, I, I think that um, the other thought that I had was, you know, maybe trying while you're resting, do the Lufon thing that we talked about, you know? Uh-huh. Um, and you did really well when you were on um, when you were on birth control pills with your IC symptoms too. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's a part of me that wants to try that as well. So we can take a little bit of time. I'm gonna think over your chart today, actually, when we're done here, um, to see if there's anything else I want to change about your FET protocol or what I want to do in the interim. Okay. I'm just I usually do that before I come in to talk with you more, but I just didn't get the chance today because I was running so behind, and so I want to make sure I give it my full attention Okay. Um, when we're done, and so maybe tomorrow or so, then Jen will give you a call on what I decided, um, but I think that it would be good for us to give your body a little break um, and, and then consider some of these other things for the endometriosis. Okay, so you think... Uh... Another trans. So, when you, so what we're going to do now, we're going to follow your hormone levels down. So you, it's a good sign that you're bleeding, so it's probably happening, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want to make sure your HCG level goes down uh -huh. to less than five. And then for sure you're going to go on birth control pills okay. um, because I want to just keep you suppressed. Okay. Okay. And then, um, and then from there, I'm going to decide how long I want to keep you suppressed and if there's anything else I want to add. Okay. That's so good. So maybe then, around we April. At least give you, you know, anywhere from probably once you once you actually go on pills. Uh, when do you have, are you scheduled to go back in to get your HCG checked again? Uh, I went in today, actually. You did. Okay, good. I want to see what it is today because you just started bleeding. You said yesterday. I started on Friday. You started on Friday. Let me write that down real fast. Okay. So I think Friday, Friday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, you can still start pills today. So if your HCG level is low, I'm going to have you start pills. Okay. Okay? And then I'm going to sit with your chart, and I'm going to think about kind of what, what I want to do. Okay. Um, so you think you. you think another transfer around April? I think another transfer, when I look at the count, yeah, I think in April would be good. I think that would be plenty of time for us to do if there is something else I want to add for your regimen. Okay. Remember we had talked about
about the Lupron? Yeah, I wasn't sure what that what what that is. Uh, oh, okay. So what Lupron is is it basically there are two things that I can do to kind of keep your estrogen level suppressed, um, and it's supposed to help with endometriosis and basically kind of suppress anything that may be flaring up. Okay. So I know for you the you know the the situation is a little confusing because you're IC and it, you know kind of all kind of meshes together. Do you remember when we talked about how there's kind of overlap? Right. And that if you responded well to being on birth control pills, which is a suppression, um, suppressive therapy, one way to suppress endometriosis, if you did better on it, which you did, that we could talk about that if we felt like we needed to do that, if your symptoms were flaring or there's anything. So I think that at this point, because you had a biochemical pregnancy, there's two ways that we could do this. One is just give your body a rest and don't do anything differently and just try with another embryo, right? Yeah. Um, but then the other thing is, I just jumped in my head, which is, okay, if there is overlapping endometriosis going on, and I'm saying that because of how well you responded on birth control pills, you uh-huh. know, you're saying symptoms that I think, well, maybe it would be helpful because there are a small subset of patients with endometriosis that their uterus may not be as receptive, and being on Lupron and some of the suppressive therapies can help improve implantation rates. Okay. So... You're in this a little bit of a gray zone because it didn't plan. It just didn't continue. So is it just because there was something with the embryo? I think it's probably more likely that than something with the uterine environment. But at the same time, it's so traumatic to go through this over and over again that I feel like, well, it wouldn't hurt if I'm having to take a break anyway. Let me maybe do some empiric therapy to just help. Okay. So, so Lupron's so like, a, is it a shot I'm, that'll I'm take? I'm just debating if I wanted to do... Um, or if I just want to do Letrozole. So I'm going to think on that a little bit, um, and then and then I'll have to give you a call. Okay, so I take that along with the birth control? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is have you start birth control pills today if your HCG level comes back down that it's already normal. Uh-huh. Um, and since you started bleeding, I imagine it's probably going to be. And um, so I'll just keep you on pills okay. while you're doing that. And then we take the break and we do it at the same time. And then we'll get you calendar and I'll have Michelle, you know, you'll go in and kind of we'll have Michelle plan out kind of how I'll tell her how long you need to be on the meds and then based on that, she'll come up with a date that theoretically you can come off and start and then you guys will discuss dates. Okay. And then the Lupron, is it a shot that I'll take or is it, are they pills? Lupron is a shot. Okay. Um, so I think usually though with the Lupron, it'll be best if you ended up having your OBGYN order it for pelvic pain. Okay. So you can be covered. It's an injection. It's a monthly injection. Okay. I don't have OBGYN right now. Um, Who were you seeing before? What's that? Were you seeing someone before? Um, I went to Temecula Valley OBGYN once. Yeah. Um, but they they get so booked up that I I just started seeing you guys right after. So. Got it. Um, you know, Lupron is a lot more expensive than Letrozole, so uh-huh. it can be tricky to get it. That's why I'm a part of it, too. Is it, They probably do similar things, and I think I may just try the Letrozole for you. Okay. Okay. And, and I can get that from Integrity? And, um, because it, for me to, like, order it straight out for you, it's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars. Oh, wow. And if you don't have an OBGYN, they could get in. It could be such an ordeal to get it. So I think if you know, being equal, I think I'd rather just do the lectures all then. Okay. Okay. And that I can get so through you guys? I think um, I'm going to talk to the girls, and I think, you know, I think that I'm definitely going to do that in the interim. So go ahead and get your birth control pill started. Once you're on the birth control pills, we can order the lectures all in the next couple of days, and you can start it, and it'll be fine. Okay, I get the letters all from Integrity, the same place I, I get the other stuff? Yeah, Jen will send the order in, and then they'll, they'll ship it to you. And I think they're really cost-effective, so I think um, that would be a better option. Okay. And it's one tablet a day. Okay, perfect. So, I mean, one dose a day. Just once a day. You take it in the morning or the evening. Okay. Five milligrams. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then, um, I guess, there's some questions I had, but I guess that I'll probably ask you... Once I'm closer to my next transfer, just like how many embryos to do next time, and um... yeah, I mean, I think that if we really don't want complications, this embryo did implant. So I think the reality of it is, is you know, it's not as though it didn't implant. Our patients who it doesn't implant, then we're sometimes we're talking about too sooner. You okay. have to kind of weigh what your risk tolerance for you know preterm labor is if you do get pregnant with twins, because I do still think that there's a high chance of that. Does that make sense? I feel like you're, you still have good quality.
quality embryo. So I feel like we're just, it's just a matter of finding the right one. And sometimes you find the right two. I have patients who put in two embryos who don't get pregnant. And then the next time I do two and you think their chances for twins are less, and boom, they have twins. Right. So it's a little unpredictable. Um, I just, you know, I think with your pelvic pain and all these different things, I just feel like you already have so many things always going on. I just don't want to put another stressor on you, potentially. Yeah. Um, so we'll see but, how this um, this stuff, this letrozole goes? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Why don't you take a little bit of time to think about it, and we can schedule an appointment closer to when, you know, and just let the girls know, and then we can talk more about that as we get closer. Maybe you can um, get Ryan on the phone, too, and then we just, you know, talk it out together. Okay. And then when, I, when I start taking that stuff, do you guys monitor it with ultrasounds and see that way? No, or? I don't need to. It's just supposed to suppress you. Okay. So you won't need to come in for anything. Okay. So okay. Um, then you'll keep, sorry, I'm just trying to understand. You'll keep me on it till my next cycle, and then you'll know if we can do a transfer? I'm going to keep you on the letrozole for about one month. Okay. And, um, and then you'll probably, at the one month mark, they can start calendaring you for the FET, and you'll stay on it for another week after that, and when, along with your estrogen, and then you'll stop it, and then it's the same FET flow. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to have that conversation with Michelle. I think what will probably need to happen is, um, let me see how she wants to work it, so that you, you can get scheduled for your FET consult and all of that. Okay, sounds good. Okay, perfect. And then we'll go from there, and then hopefully I think it'll be, because by the time we can get you ready, you'll be on this all in March, and then it'll be April sometime that we can do the transfer. Perfect. Okay, perfect. perfect. Hopefully your HCG behaves and has gone down to less than five today. So yeah. We'll for that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, so someone will call me today and let me know. Yeah, so I'll have Michelle call you today. Okay, perfect. I don't have any more birth control, so I'll go get some today just in case. Have any um, refills, you think? Um, I I went through the rest of them when I stopped taking them last time, so I, I I'm pretty sure I have ref refills. I can just go to this uh, um, Rite Aid. Maybe right you can call me. them first and see if you have refills, and then um, and then when they shall call you, if you don't, then they can always call them more. Okay? okay, perfect. Thank you. Welcome. Take care, dear. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. So there you go, you guys. Sorry I had to leave in the beginning of that to go get my phone charger because my phone was about to die. Um, hope you guys heard all of that. Um, I just, I'm still confused. Like, they want me, she wants to t put me on Lupron or Letrozole to suppress me. Suppressing means, like, my hormones. Um, they think I, she thinks I have endometriosis. That's not even confirmed yet if I have endometriosis. They just think I do because I have a lot of pelvic pain. Um, I also have IC. I think I've mentioned that to you guys. It's, um, interstitial cystitis. It's, uh, really hard to explain, but it's basically a bladder syndrome, and it's related to PCOS, endometriosis. Um, yeah, look it up. I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave, I'll leave it right here. <laughs> Interstitial cystitis. Look it up. Um, I have a few followers on here that said they have it. It's pretty rare. Um, and it's pretty painful. So she wants to see if maybe that's the problem, obviously. Um, if I have endometriosis, that could be what's stopping my the implantation. I'm just frustrated because I mean she's gonna keep me it on it she's gonna keep me on it for a month um, so April's like that's like the longest I want to wait I, I want to I want to do my transfer like now if I could I know some people need a break but I just want to do it again um, so Obviously, I'm kind of thinking of doing two embryos next time. I wanted to two, I wanted to do two before, but I was so nervous about multiples. Um, twins run heavily on my side. They run heavily on Ryan's side, and I didn't want to risk that. 
so I'm really scared of triplets and that kind of stuff. I'm just, it just causes so many complications and I don't need any more complications. I really don't. So, just don't know what to do and I'm really frustrated, so. Um, it was a pretty hard week. I've just been really emotional. Um, it was kind of a tease, you know, by knowing that you're pregnant and then it got taken away. It's just a really crummy feeling. I can't imagine going through that again. And I know women do. They go through it over and over and over again. And I just, I hope I'm not like that. I hope, I just, that one was just so hard. And like I said, you have no control over this. You have no control over this. And I just want it so bad. I want a baby so bad and I want to be pregnant so bad and I just want to get the show on the road and everyone's getting pregnant around me and it's just it's really hard it's really hard um, so this whole infertility thing is just it's hard <laughs> it's, it's beyond hard so, it's just not fair. Um, anyways, there you go, guys. That was my doctor. I love her. She's, she's a great doctor. And I'm going to have faith that she knows what she's doing. Have any of you guys gone through this, um, taking the Lupron or the Letrozole? I've been on Letrozole before. I didn't feel too good from it. It gave me some migraines and headaches. So I'm really not looking forward to that. All these medications give you so many side effects. It's just like, what's one more side effect? <laughs> it's <sighs> all these hormones that we take. It's just, I don't feel good about it. It can't be that good for you. So I'm going to trust in the doctors and know that they know what they're doing. And hopefully babies just right around the corner. I want to do whatever we can to make this next transfer successful. Because I can't go through it again. I can't. Um, I'm going to start now and start eating super good. I'm going to go um, more strict on my acupuncture. Um, I'm going to exercise and just try and get my body in baby shape so there's a lot of things I'm gonna do differently this next time around that I didn't do before um, I didn't I wish that I, I spent an extra few days resting after my transfer they say two days you should put your feet up and not do anything I did it for like a day and a half and then I got up. I wasn't running marathons or anything like that, but I was like going to the grocery store and I was cleaning the house, but not like, not like bending down and, and twisting my body and doing all these things. I wasn't, I was being still cautious, but I think my next transfer, I am going to do nothing for like four or five days. Nothing. I'm going to get up to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get up to get water or food. Um, I'm going to do nothing. That's the next thing I'm going to do differently. And just eat very healthy and clean. And yeah, I'm going to read more on it. If any of you guys have any pointers on what you did and how you think it helped your transfer be successful, let me know. I really want to know what your guys' secrets were. Because I will use all of them. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll say this in all my videos. I have an Instagram, uh, and I do lots of updates daily on there. Um, it's called Dreaming of Conceiving. Dreaming of Conceiving. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. I do lots of updates on there. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. I guess I'll do another video. 
I don't know. The next big news I hear, maybe next week or whatever. So hopefully my HCG came back today below five and we can just get the show on the road and I can start this next transfer. So I will do another, uh, another video soon, you guys. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.